everyone, my name is Dr. Dish. All right, so today we're gonna learn about the remote. This is the Dish remote for the hopper system. Doesn't matter if it's a hopper one, hopper two, or hopper three. Pretty much works the same if you have the same remote. So this first button is your power button. All you have to do is press this once. TV shuts off, okay? If you turn your TV off and you turn it right back on, once in a while, this is part of my, my smart TV feature, so that will go away in just a few seconds. But <clears throat> you'll see this right here. It says press any button to watch TV. All you really have to do is hit the select button once, just like that. That goes away, volume comes right back in. So this is your guide. Basically, you press the guide, the guide shows up. It always shows up at the channel that you're watching and it'll tell you what the show's about on the far right. And then on the guide, if you feel like you wanna record this show right here at nine o'clock, just highlight it, hit the select button once, and it'll prompt you, record this, record the series, and then you can use your arrow to go down or up and hit select on it and then it'll record the series if you highlight the series. After that, press back to get out to the regular show. If you're watching the current show right now and you want to record it, all you have to do, again, hit select. It'll prompt you down here and you can use these arrows to go over to it, hit select and it'll record. Your other option is hit the info button. If you do that, it'll bring this up, it'll tell you what the show is about. Now you can go down to record this or the series. By doing that, all you have to do is press down and up and then hit select to choose which option you want. To get out, press back. All your recording will be in the DVR. So if you hit the DVR, it'll say, hey, Property Brothers, Wheel of Fortune, and so on. All your recording will be here. And they'll tell you you have 1% fold, 2% fold, or 3% fold on here. Anytime you want to get out from this channel or no, this page, all you have to do is hit the back button. You'll be back to live TV. And from there, this is your home button. I don't know if you can see it, but this is your home button. All you have to do is click on it once. It'll bring on the home screen. Bring, brings up this page. Right here, these are some of my channels I watch. And if I go down to on demand, if I hit select on that, it brings me to the movie channels where I can watch these movies for free. These are my free TV show. And if I go down, these are my trailers and movies that I can rent. So if I go over to RIPD2, then I hit select on that. It'll say rent or buy. If I hit select again, it'll tell me how much it is. If I select one and I hit it again, it'll automatically charge my account. Press back to get out again and again, and you'll be back to live TV. Uh, uh, the house button again, from here, you can log onto your Netflix account, your YouTube, and Prime if you have it. And then from there, press back again. You can get out. <clears throat> again, hit home. From here, you can actually go to my app. Hit select on that. And then if you want to know your local weather, like the radar and all that, all you have to do is click on that and it'll show you your, where you live and your location and what the weather's like. Press back to get back out to live. This is your option key. If you hit option, TV activity, it will let you see Who's watching what in what room? I'm in the living room right now. If I have another TV in the basement or in my or in my bedroom, then it'll say bedroom one. Okay. Press back to get out. Option again. <clears throat> Close caption is here. If I hit select on that. And if you turn that on, when she talks, words will start popping out everywhere. If I hit option again, turn that off, and words won't come out, okay? So option again, you can mark this as your favorites list. Come here and change your Format of your screen if you like. Option again. Oops. Option again. And from here, if you want to block certain shows from your kids, you go to parental control, go to settings. From right here, you can click on parental password and then you can actually set a password. And then from here, you can turn these on and off. Um, and then from there, to get back out, go back. Option again. Right, from right here, for the Hopper 3, you can go to Picture-in-Picture, picture, 
and you can do multi view. And then it'll split it into four screens. And then the volume will only play out from whatever red box you're highlighted. So if you go this way, then it highlights that. If you go down, then it'll play from there. And then <clears throat> if you go here, you hit select, then it'll go to that channel, okay? And then from here, if you hit option again, this is accessibility. If you hit select on that, from right here, you can Bluetooth your sound bar, your speakers and all that. And then if you turn on text speech, every time you go to a channel, so any, like anytime you go to guide or you highlight anything, such as that show or this show, it'll speak out for you that, hey, you're on that channel and that's the show. Okay, and then here's option again. <clears throat> From right here, you go to accessibility and you can turn all these on if you like. Like text speech, if you turn that on, anything that you highlight like this, the audio will re um, read off any of these. So you can come on here, turn it off, go back, and it'll be right back out. Okay, and that's the end of all the options. So press back to get out. And the info bar, like I said, it tells you about the show, and you can go down and record or record the series or the show time. But yeah, press back to get out. <clears throat> if you're watching the show right now, you can press pause, and it'll pause the actual show. And then it'll tell you, hey, look, you're behind the show, five seconds, six seconds, two minutes. The show will only pause for an hour. After an hour, it'll kick it to live, okay? So you come back, you press play again, and it'll continue right where you left off. To rewind, you just tap that, and it'll go 10, 20, 30, 40 seconds backward. Fast forward is the same. You hold that, and it'll fast forward all the way. When rewinding, you can only rewind as far as when you first jump onto the show, okay? And then from there, volume up, volume down, channel up, and channel down, okay? And then from there, if you hit recall, it'll recall you right back to your previous show. <clears throat> Just like that. And then this is your mute button. You hit mute, it'll mute the, the TV. Press mute again and then unmute it. And then if you know your channel, you can just type it in and it'll go to it. And then if you shake this at night, all these little buttons will glow. And then if you come right here, right here, this button, it'll say locate remote. If you tap on that once or twice, you just wait a few seconds. <clears throat> the hopper will send a signal from that to the remote. You just listen to it. Once you find the remote, I like to just hit the volume button and the beeping will go away. All right guys, so this is Mr. Dish. Hopefully the video was helpful. Please hit the like button and please subscribe and please leave some comments down below and ask questions. The more questions you guys ask, um, the more I can answer back and so I can know how to make the video and know what question you guys have so I can actually make a video on it to help you out. Anything new like TV and internet and all that, it's going to be complicated. I've been there myself. So hopefully this helped out. Peace out until next time.